hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Fumi Monet and if you're new around here I am a skincare beauty and lifestyle content creator and if you're not new welcome back today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me I am actually working from home today so I have a little bit of time and I wanted to use this opportunity to talk a little bit about my social media journey and some things I picked up during the Sephora sale as well as what is going on with my channel and so if that sounds good be sure to stick around i'm i'm in my ijona label caftan today i just received it last week and i just been wearing this around the house it's so comfortable it's absolutely beautiful the material is phenomenal but i feel like i kind of want to just wear it for the rest of the day and i'm trying to debate whether or not i can get away with it hopefully i'll be able to decide by the end of the video but let's go ahead and get into this get ready with me I'm going to go ahead and start by prepping my skin. I'm going to mist with the Watermelon Glow Mist from Glow Recipe. I did my sunscreen earlier, like my sunscreen step earlier before I had breakfast. And so now I'm just getting my face prepped for the rest of my day. I am going to start with the Vitamin Enriched Face Base from Bobbi Brown. And I've been loving this primer because my skin has just been so dry this winter. Like, I think maybe the air is drier in my room. I mean, I sleep with a humidifier, but I just feel like I need something a little bit heavier to give my skin a nice supple feel. And I feel like when I use this primer, my foundation just sits a lot nicer on my face. This is actually a primer I would recommend if you have drier skin or normal skin or even combo skin um, it's a little on the heavy side so I don't think I would recommend it necessarily if you have oily skin though but I remember back in the day this used to be a permanent staple in my um, freelance kit like when I used to do freelance work so that is step one I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty hydrating foundation today and I use shade 420. I really like this foundation. Actually, I prefer it to the original Pro Filter because I just feel like the Pro Filter looked too dry on my face. Like whenever I would put it on, I felt like it just, it just looked like foundation. Like it didn't melt as seamlessly into my skin as I would have liked. So I've been using the hydrating foundation, which I definitely prefer. And I'm trying to think of what I'm doing with my makeup today. I'm probably going to do something a little heavier than normal only because I'm doing a get ready with me and if I do my normal makeup I'll be done in five minutes. So I did want to get a chance to chat a little bit about you know about myself and what brought me to YouTube and additionally what's going on with my channel. So I've been on social media for two years now. So Officially, um, I started my skincare page as Skincare Goals AF back in 2018. So this is my two year anniversary of creating that page. And it originally started off as just a skincare page. Like I created it just to talk about skincare and the skincare products that I enjoy using. This blends in so nicely, like this looks so good like this melts in beautifully my edges are probably going to need a touch up later I have a whole lot of edge control going on right now I'm tired of these braids speaking of I got these dreads these are faux locks that I got in probably it's been almost three weeks now and I'm ready to take them down this is probably the quickest I've taken down like a braid style but I think I like them for like a week and a half and then after that it's just it's just too much like I'm ready for a wake honestly so I'm gonna finish blending that in and I used two full pumps on my face for the pro filter because I just didn't want to do like you know too much on my skin I feel like two pumps is just enough to give me just a little bit more than light coverage like in between light to medium which is just enough to get through the day okay so anyway so I started my page as a skincare page like I wanted to talk about skincare and the skincare products that I use. I, you know, have always really been into, you know, good skin practices. 
and I've always also been just a member of various skincare and makeup communities online where you know I was able to get lots of skincare advice and you know just have like a really nice dialogue regarding different skincare products that we're using different skincare products that are coming out you know the whole nine yards so it was actually one of my really good friends that was like you know what you should start a skincare page like I feel like people would really like to see what you're using and to to see like what you recommend so when I started my skincare page I did not start it to be like a skincare expert so generally speaking I do have pretty clear skin and um, because of that you know a lot of times I don't feel like I can speak too knowledgeably about certain skin conditions like acne or breakouts like my main skin concerns are texture radiance and um, fading hyperpigmentation so you know if people have questions about that I can definitely do my best to help but outside of that you know I don't I don't I wouldn't say I know like a whole lot besides kind of like the basic stuff I'm trying to blend all this out so I like I said I'm trying a different foundation routine today because I want to let this video be a little bit longer let me add another bow on top let me add butter so I can have more of a highlight effect. I'm going for a, a little bit more of a wow factor. Like I want my face to really pop during my video sessions today. My sessions are, they need to be a little bit longer sometimes. So my page started off with just, you know, sharing skincare products, sharing routines, you know, trying new products and reviewing products. And I do my best to try to review products that I think can be reviewed in, you know, a pretty timely manner. For example, like, I think that cleansers, generally speaking, are a product that, you know, unless it claims to, you know, do something specific, aren't necessarily something you need to test for like six months at a time, you know? But like certain, you know, acids and exfoliants and things like that, they do need a little bit more time. I think this looks pretty good. It doesn't look as bright, and I don't know if it's because I use my beauty blender to blend it out, but I'm glad that it doesn't. Like it looks, it looks a little bit brighter, but not, not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and use my YSL powder to set under my eyes, and I'm going to use that same damp beauty blender again. I feel like when I use a damp beauty blender, I don't pick up as much powder, and it blends a little bit nicer under my eyes. So I'm just going to press that under my eye and I like this powder because it's not super yellow like it just blends really nicely and gives it sets my concealer pretty well if I want to bake I would pick up a dry beauty blender and you know let it sit under my eyes for a few minutes but with this one I just it really just presses that powder and sets everything I've noticed my concealer lasts a lot longer when I use this method. And I think it just looks more natural too. I don't experience that flashback in photos. Oh, I forgot I wanted to add a little bronzer to my face. I'm going to go ahead. I forgot I wanted to add a little bronzer to my face. I'm going to go ahead and take Truffle, the match six from Fenty as well. And I like that it's just a little bit darker than my skin. So it does give me more of a bronzing effect than like, a super contour look. This is the shade I go for when I'm wanting just kind of a, a subtle, like some subtle contouring or some subtle shading to my face. I'm taking my foundation brush shade again and blending that up just because I feel like the colors just blend together more nicely when I do it that way. So I also, you know, discuss makeup and stuff on my IG. I, you know, love makeup and I definitely do my best to keep up with releases and everything as they're coming out. Especially like as I've gotten older, I've really just been 
into a little bit more higher end makeup as well. But I've just been into brands like Pat McGrath, you know, and I've been into, you know, just more of the, the prestige lines, I guess you could say. So I've been keeping up with releases in the past few years, but I would say this year it's just, it's slowed down a lot. And I know a lot of it has to do with obviously not being able to, you know, go into my office and work, you know, um, like I've been working remotely. So some days I don't wear makeup. I just don't feel like it. And other days, you know, I just kind of put just enough on. Like I don't necessarily do like a full bead. So when the Sephora sale came around this fall, I just feel like there weren't as many things as I was excited to pick up as I normally am. But usually I'll pick up a few things from a little bit of everybody, you know, like Happy Graph, Dior, NARS. But this time around, there was really only the Mario makeup release that had come out. And even then, I wasn't super excited about everything that I saw from his line. I did end up picking up two palettes. I got the Master Metallics and the Master Mattes. And I really, I like them. You know, the Master Mattes I've used once and I'm going to probably go ahead and use it for this video. And then um, I think I've used this once so far as well. I don't, have, I don't think I've worn makeup too much just like the last few days. But what I like about the palettes, my fingers are a little dirty, are that they are very compact. And so I think these would be great to travel with. Like I do think that these would be really cute in my makeup bag, especially because I do tend to overpack when I travel. Like for some reason, I take all of my heaviest palettes, like the Pat McGrath palettes weigh 10 pounds each. And I'll take like five of those and I'll take 10 foundations. And then the whole time I ended up just wearing, you know, powder and eyebrows. But I think these would be cute. And I, I do want to try to streamline my packing abilities a little bit more, hopefully for next year. Definitely not for this year. But if, you know, things kind of clear up next year, I would like to put these to the test. But for today, I am going to use, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to use the Master Mats. And I did pick up some fragrances as well from the sale. I picked up two fragrances, which I'll probably talk about in a video, but I don't even have them in front of me right now. But I picked up um, a Killian fragrance and a fragrance from Tom Ford that I've had on my wish list for a while. So that's really all I got, which it kind of, I mean, it was expensive because of the perfume, but I mean, I usually, I usually pick up much more than that. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to use the, I'm going to go ahead and use this palette today. I'm going to take this kind of, because I, I don't really want to do like a whole lot. So I'm going to take this kind of medium brown shade and I'm going to place it in the corner and blend that out. And another thing too is I've picked up a very serious fragrance habit in the last few months. So I feel like the money I usually spend buying makeup, I've used to purchase fragrance, which I don't mind because I feel like I can justify fragrance purchases because I wear fragrance every day. I don't wear makeup every single day. Um, when I go into my office, actually, I'm less inclined to wear makeup because I, you know, I have my mask on. I actually feel more inclined to do makeup on days when I work from home because um, I can kind of work a little bit better on my own schedule. Like usually in the mornings, I catch up on my paperwork and do some readings or other things I need to do to prepare for my day. And then, you know, I can do my makeup and then see my clients virtually, which is really nice. But other than that, you know, I don't, I don't always like to wear my makeup to the office just to put a mask on for the whole day. Okay, so this is actually a little bit lighter than what I wanted. I think I might have to add a second color, but I'm trying to like, blend it in the corner and then up to the crease. See? I'm just gonna keep packing the color. I will say that one thing about this palette is that the colors are very smooth and creamy. Like this isn't chalky at all. And I'm using just um, a blending brush from the Sephora brand. This is the number 26 blending brush. I like it because it's really fluffy and diffuses the color really nicely because I don't 
once. I'm not doing anything super artistic today. Like there's not going to be a cut crease or anything. Just I have a pretty little look. And so yeah, um, I definitely have picked up more of a fragrance hobby and I just feel like it's easier to justify buying fragrance, honestly, than all the money I've been spending on makeup before when I'm not even using it every day. And I absolutely spray myself like daily with fragrance. Like I, I spray myself daily. So I do feel like, you know, fragrance is something that I can keep using and I store them really well. So I don't see them, you know, going bad. But with makeup, like if I'm not wearing it every day, it just sits there. I have palettes I haven't touched in months, which I feel bad about. Um, I definitely need to use them more. Maybe I will you know, make more of an effort to try to do my makeup during the week. Maybe instead of just a few days a week. Or maybe to be a little bit more adventurous with my makeup looks. I do tend to kind of do the same makeup a lot. But I like what I like. I feel like I'm just building more color in that corner. I do have like, I do have like how it's coming out so far. I'm using this kind of deep brick color in the corner to just add a little bit more shading on the outside of me. Okay, so now I'm going to take a lighter color. I've been really into like the all matte look for my eyes. So I'm going to take maybe this kind of camel color and apply it all over my lid and blend it out. Okay, so this, this is pretty much all I'm doing with my eyes today. I feel like my lights are kind of washing out the color a little bit, but there is a little subtle definition. And I do like that, that camel color that I added to the lid makes my eyes look a little brighter. The other two items I picked up from the Mario collection are his black liquid liner, which I do like how long the, um, the felt tip is. And then I also picked up the brightening pencil, which I always, I always use these, so. I will say that the black, the black pen is really nice. It's very dark, which I like a really saturated black pen. And additionally, it doesn't skip or tug on my eye. So I have to see how long it lasts, but so far my favorite black liquid liner has been the one from Pat McGrath. So I'm going to just go ahead and finish up my eyes. So I put on some lashes, but I like these lashes because they really look like lash extensions. Like they're not super dramatic. And I'm going to try to do some bronzer. I'm going to take my Vesca Beauty bronzer in the shade Cabo warm up this complexion but what brought me to youtube specifically is that a couple months ago my instagram page was disabled somebody created a fake page and i think that when they disabled that page my page also ended up getting disabled as well which definitely threw me in a panic because i was reading on twitter about people that were never able to get their page back after instagram disabled it so my page wasn't deleted and it wasn't hacked. I've had my page hacked before. A few years ago, my page got hacked and I ended up having to start all over again, which was a pain. But my page was disabled. If you've ever had to deal with IG, you know that their customer support is honestly very poor to not, I would say almost non-existent, honestly. I'm gonna really bronze complexion today. So I'm really packing it on. I'm actually added I'm adding this is Maldives as well to give it a little bit more dimension. But so the only way to get your Instagram page back up after it's been disabled by Instagram is with Instagram. There's no hack, there's no send me my password, it's disabled. So it really threw me in a panic because for a few days, you know, I didn't have really any other form of social media that I could use to share and create content you know i had an instagram page i had a twitter that i wasn't very active on and then um I, didn't, I don't even think i had a tiktok yet so that week i started a tiktok page which definitely has become mostly about fragrance <laughs> but i started posting on tiktok and then i also decided to finally 
get on YouTube as well, which it's been a few years since I've thought about getting on YouTube and it's always been something that's been on my mind, but I guess I was just always too nervous, you know? In my mind, I kind of just didn't really think that I could, you know, honestly, consistently keep up with the channel. Either I would fall off or honestly, I just, like nobody would be interested in watching my videos. So I just never really put any serious effort into creating a space here. But like I said, when my page got bleeded, I realized it was foolish to have all my eggs in one basket. So I did start my YouTube career basically because my back was against the wall with having no Instagram page. Fortunately, I think in under a week, my Instagram page was back, but I'm really thankful because it did kind of force me to explore other avenues for sharing my content on social media. So now, you know, I'm a few videos in on YouTube and I feel like I'm getting more comfortable with recording videos and the editing process. The editing process really made me very nervous because I had never done anything. I've never done anything like that before, you know? And so I'm going, this is outlaw. This is outlaw from Mars. So I'd never done anything like that. And then I had to decide, you know, what type of content do I want to share? Fortunately though, in the last few months, I have been so interested in fragrance that I will say that my channel will probably be a lot of fragrance content. There will be some skincare content, you know, discussing my routine, especially now that I'm a little older, I'm 30. So a big part of my routine is focused on anti-aging and, you know, just maintaining my complexion. I also would like to do some vlogs. I did a, I, well, I tried to do a vlog last week. I got a facial, so I'm going to try to piece it together and get that up. But um, I also am interested in doing just a couple of cosmetic procedures. I wouldn't really call them procedures per se, but I wanted to get some filler under my eyes. I've always had kind of a sunken under eye area. I mean, even in my baby pictures, my eyes look tired. My mom said I came out looking tired. So I just wanted to get a little bit just under my eyes to prep up my, just kind of give me a little, give me a little pep, you know, just to pep my face up a little bit. I think that would make a difference with how awake I look. I'm going to be using, this is Topaz from Mega. And then I wish, I almost wish I'd started my page last year because last year I did so much traveling that it would have been cool to do some travel vlogs. Like last year I went to Italy, I went to Colombia with my best friend. We went to Belize for my birthday. That was a lot of fun. And let's see, so we went to Colombia, went to Mexico City, Italy, I was there for like two weeks, the best time of my life. Belize, I went to Nigeria last year actually. I went to Nigeria last year. And then we did this, we did a country, a country hop. We went from Portugal, we started in Portugal and we celebrated New Year's in Portugal. And then we went to Morocco, which was a lot of fun. And then we rounded up our trip in Ghana. Now, it does sound kind of random, but those are all just countries that we've been wanting to see. So we figured, you know, two weeks is a good amount of time to kind of get everything in. And that was another two week trip. So this year I've been, you know, I want to say grounded because I haven't gone anywhere, but I've actually really enjoyed having this time to focus on some of the things that I didn't get a chance to focus on last year because I was just busy doing so much, but it's been cool. I think I want to go with a nude lip again. I honestly do nude lips most of the time, so no surprise. So overall, I would say that 2020 was definitely a year where I was kind of forced to step outside of my comfort zone while literally staying in my comfort zone. Like I didn't get to leave and go out, but being here did give me a chance to explore Quite a few different things that I don't think I would have had the attention to do last year because I was just on the move so much. Like it seemed like every month I was just taking like an extended weekend somewhere. And like I said, the summertime I was gone for two weeks and then gone for another two weeks, the end of December, early January. Actually, I'm really glad. It seems like I got back just in time because not, too long after I got back is when like all the COVID stuff started popping up. But drop me a comment down below 
to let me know something that was unexpected that happened to you this year that ended up kind of working out in your favor. So this is the finished look and I do like how it turned out. I think this foundation just is, it just gives me a perfect color match. It looks so beautiful and I didn't even set it. I don't think I'm going to set it since I'll be, I'll be inside most of the day, but I'm trying to figure out if I can get away with just wearing this the rest of the day. This is kind of my lounging around the house outfit and it's so beautiful and comfortable and the silk is just so luxurious, but I'm thinking since I'll be doing a video call that if I'm just kind of from the bus up, they'll assume this is a blouse and not a caftan. See, this is this is just one of the benefits of being able to work from home. So anyway, if you like this video and you enjoy this type of content, please be sure to hit that subscription button and the notification bell. That way you can get updates anytime I have a new video. Additionally, you can find me on Instagram at Fumimone. My social media handle is the same across all platforms. I made that easy for you. I really appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.